Hey guys, Napuki here. Today we're gonna be going over update 12, what's to come. I don't know, I've made, you know, videos on it in the past, but now we're like right there. Like it's coming out pretty soon. A lot of the creatures are basically finalized. They're just like small touch-ups in need, stuff like that. So I thought, you know, why not make a video on PRE again right before it releases? And um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna look at um, every single creature that is being added in update 12. We're gonna look at the new mechanics and then maybe touch up on some of the future mechanics as well. And creatures as well, because you know, that's pretty cool. Anyways, um, you know, they also changed the main menu, which is pretty cool. Um, you have the Albertosaurus here eating a uh, Parasaurolophus. And then you also have a radio, which I would assume would be from the PRE personnel or, you know, their security corps. And as you guys would know, the Dakota Raptor, it's also been renamed or rebranded, whatever you want to call it, to Xenoraptor. So that's pretty cool. If we look at the assets here, you can see that there's a lot of additions. There used to only be two in rank two. Now there's five. There used to only be a four in rank three. Now there's also five which is pretty cool. But um, we're gonna be looking at these newer creatures being added and yeah, let's get into that. We're gonna start off with Dilo. All right, so not much has changed with Dilo other than it being completed completely. I will show you all the animations and everything. Um, you might see in the middle of the screen, you now have a crosshair and that crosshair is for your um, acid spit, which is pretty cool. So now you have like some sort of aim if that makes sense so that's pretty cool anyways um, let's look at the animations this is going to be the walk the sprint crouch the bite I don't have any food to test it on but here's the drink which is pretty cool um, and then let's get into the roars so here's going to be our broadcast Here's going to be your Threaten. And then here's your Friendly. I know I covered it in the last video, but uh, with Dilo, um, it's going to be introduced with, I think, it's uh, Venom. What Venom is going to do with Dilo is when you buy a enemy or another asset, it'll inflict them with a Venom for 10 seconds, I believe, per bite. Uh, what that Venom will do is it will stop the regeneration of stamina for the asset it's applied onto along with draining it at a very slow rate, I believe. Once that asset runs out of zero stamina while having Venom, they will be basically paralyzed and you will be able to eat them alive. Eating them alive will cause a lot of um, bleeding for them because you're literally ripping into them. And, um, you know, it's pretty cool. I mean... Dial is not the fastest, but in groups, but that as well. It's going to be a pretty strong creature to have. Oh, and here's E. Alright, let's go take a look at Skeletho. Alright, here is Skeletho. This is um, another herbivore addition to rank 2, and I believe, I think, a lot of people gonna, are going to be playing this creature pretty crazy but um it's very relatable to that of tenanto from the isle it has your walk normal stance and then it has a quadruped stance um both of them will have different sets of attacks which is pretty cool so um we can look at the, yeah, let's actually look at the animations right now so here's gonna be your sprint this is your quadruped your quadruped sprint then you're gonna have your attacks this is your left mouse your right click and your space I believe that space is going to do bleed. If here's your quadruped, your quadruped left click, right click, that will ragdoll any rank threes, which is pretty cool, I believe. Or at least it can ragdoll Karno that much. And then there's your, your space, which is a kick, which is pretty cool. I um, think this one's going to be really a, a tough creature to kill as well. I mean, if you're a rank three like a Karno and you're able to get ragdoll by this, and you can get comboed really hard with it, it's going to be very difficult to fight, especially within groups, which is good. It's going to give a good challenge for um, carnivores to hunt a rank 2 asset that's not just, you know, fodder. 
Um, there's currently no call animations that's still being developed. But other than that, um, here's your drink. And then I think there's a bush over there. And then we'll go check out the eat. And I don't know what it is, but if you guys see like the screen freeze here and there, I, I, I have no idea what's going on, but sorry about that. Um, that was the eat animation, so it's pretty cool. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this thing, and I see this thing being played a lot. Let's go look at the Gallimimus now. All right, here is the Gallimimus. This one I'm personally excited for. It's the newest edition and the last uh, edition for update 12, which is pretty cool when it comes to the assets. Um, this is the walk, the sprint, the left mouse, and the right mouse, which is a kick, it looks like. It's gonna be pretty cool, and then it can jump, which is also real cool. There's currently no in, um, voice or roars, no sound for them, sadly. Um, and here is gonna be the eat. Like a peck almost, which is really cool. And I believe this is strictly herbivore, but and I don't think it's a omnivore at all. Yeah, it's not an omnivore. I know some games have Gallimimus as an omnivore, which is kind of, you know, hot take. But let's go show you the um, drinking animation. There is the drinking animation, quick and fast, skittish creature, I think. Which is pretty cool. So what I believe your left mouse is gonna do, which is this, I believe that's gonna be in a you know like your normal attack. I believe it's gonna do bleed because you have these massive claws. So that's pretty cool. And then here's your kick. I've never used the kick before, but if I had to guess, I would assume that it ragdolls, you know, some of the smaller ring twos like Herrera. Not sure about the Coder Raptor or Vino Raptor now it's called. But if it does, that'd be pretty cool. Like a defense from the the pouch or pouch. Oh my god, I can't talk. Pounce. So there's that, and I believe we have one more to cover, and that's um, Parasaurolophus. So let's go look at that. All right. Well, it looks like the map has. Oh, there it goes. But this is the Para. There's been some changes to this big boy in the last. Um, video that I made, or since the last video I made, really, um, you know, I'll just show you the animations and I'll talk about the changes. So here's your, your walk, your sprint, your left mouse, your quadruped, and then your right mouse, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see if I can find a bush, a bushy bush, there's a bush. So this is going to be your eating animation, if I can get it. Yep, there's your eating animation. Then let's get the drinking animation. Can you drink? Yeah, there we go. There's the drinking animation. To talk about the changes that came to Para since the last video, that I made on update 12. I believe Para has gotten a reduction in its sprint speed. I'm not quite sure about stamina. I think stamina's been the same, but I can't really, you know, make a note on that. But I know for sure that it's lost a lot of its sprint speed. So now it's able to be caught up by like Albertosaurus and stuff like that. Um, some features that people will probably don't know about Para once you start playing it is that when you're in your quadruped mode, I believe you regain a lot more stamina. So I think it's quite a bit faster than standing up on two legs. If I'm correct. Maybe I'm not. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I think it is. But um, other than that, your right mouse, when you do hit a creature, it will refill your stamina bar all the way to the top. So you'll be able to run away again, which is pretty cool. And then one of the cool things about Para that they finally added were its call animation, this roars, voice, whatever you want to call it. So let's show you that. This is going to be the broadcast. Para, oh my god, it's, it's really intimidating. <laughs> now this is going to be the threatening call. It's also really cool. 
I'm excited. I, I think they did a really good job with Para. And then here's gonna be your friendly call. So Para's gonna have all those lower tone um, sounds, kind of like because of the little nostril thing on the side. I forget what they call that. But it's gonna have those low tone, low, ugh, low tone sounds. You get the point. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's all the creatures covered. Um, now let's talk about the upcoming mechanics. So when it comes to the upcoming mechanics, there's going to be weather systems. Like I said, I can't really touch up on that, and I said this in the previous video, I believe, but the weather mechanics coming will be rain, I believe thunderstorms, like lightning and all that, and then in the future, I believe those will be something that will affect PRU personnel and their facilities. I think it'll cause like power outages and stuff like that, but you know, I think that's what's going to happen from what I heard. But, you know, like I said, I can't cover that. Um, emotes are coming. So there's going to be different type of emotes, such as, for example, Karna will be getting an interactive emote with bodies where it would go up and nudge dead bodies as it's, you know, to show its type of behavior, um, you know, just toying with its food. A lot of creatures, I believe. I don't know if it's only one animation per creature, but I think it's multiple. And that's uh, pretty cool. So it's going to add a lot more realism to the PRE um, asset actors and um, yeah and then other than that there's one more thing and that's gonna be test subject it's essentially the same thing from the last time I showed you guys it's gonna be um, really just you playing a human you spawn in the forest you know just gotta survive type of stuff um, it's not really, I don't think too much change except for like animation wise. I'm not sure if you're getting any more weapons than what are currently allowed right now in the game, which I believe you're only able to make a spear. But if you hit G, you're going to open up your crafting menu. And like I said, for example, if you click that, you need three sticks, one rocks, and two fives to make a spear. They changed the animation from R06 to, I believe this is R15, if that's what it's called. So you're going to have these type of animations. Uh, for those that do play test subjects, in order to collect a, um, say, a fiber, rocks, or sticks, let's see if we can even find one, but what you're going to do is you're going to go up to um, the object. You're going to hover your mouse over it. Keep that in mind because some people are probably not going to do that and then say, like, hey, I can't pick it up. It's a bug. But you just need to hover your mouse over it. It's pretty easy. I was a little um, not so smart. I thought it wasn't working for me. But like right here, these sticks, what you're going to do is you're going to go up to it, have your mouse, and hit E. And you're going to be able to collect them. If you want to drop them, I believe you open up your inventory, and you drag it out, I think? No. Do you? Oh, you do backspace. So you're going to be able to drop it and give it to um, other people. And in order to collect that, you're going to have to walk over it. You can't hit E on it. But other than that... I think that covers everything for update 12. Um, it's not too too much changes since the last one, except for the new creatures and some, some minor changes. But other than that, I hope you guys are excited for update 12, just like me. Um, sorry, Ala didn't make a video. I got that peer pressure on me now. No, I'm kidding, Ala, please don't ban me. I beg. Anyways, um, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.